Yeah, I've noticed the screen now, it's recording. Thanks. Okay. This is our mic position. We've got our music plan, I've got the F1 app on the side here. Um, adding the cement, your aggregate, your water. This will mix up. Put the slide gate. I don't know, I'm not going to try to it. Got the slide gate that you open up. It starts with the auger. The auger feeds through. Very plain, pretty simple. Um, we have a manifold on the side um, for two reasons one obviously you don't want your whole area full of water the whole time so we can discharge in the bucket or directly into the uh, mixer over there so that you don't waste any water and then secondly we need it for our cleaning tool um, these hoses are expensive you know that so that you can connect it up to the water and sponge more with the air. air alone does not unblock this Open this up, this will give you water through here with your air, and then when you, it's too well of a big of a blockage, you can just discharge the the pressure that's built up in here. That's just the discharge one. And then air in from that side, and then you operate your air for your the nozzle operator does not operate the air. Yeah. So obviously be the guy machine. Basic stuff, stop start, the lockout switch. We've got these fittings on here, it's just because if you want, if you ever have to work on the buckets or anything, that you can take the top part off. I don't and as soon as you disconnect that, it trips the power as well, yes. so it can't operate. Yeah, it won't work at so all it's a safe because feature, of yeah. the limit switch. We've got the limit switches in there, so we don't have any issues with someone getting their hands stuck in there while the machine is running. The back part of it, you'll only see it when we take it off. I'll take you through the parts that's lying there. Strip the parts for the demo machine. You've got a 4 kilowatt motor on top, and you've got a 7.5 kilowatt at the bottom. You've got a planetary gearbox um, at the bottom that can handle 1,850 meters with the top. You've got a helical bevel that can handle close to, I think it's 1,200 millimeters the top before it's in working range. Yeah. So it's over designed so you don't have problems with it. Yeah. And that's our machine in a nutshell. Then we will move on to the mobile port thing. This, the, these ones that we buy, we don't supply them with the aluminium cam lock because it doesn't last. It's got proper stainless steel ones on there. Bolder yeah. nozzle cam. Air comes in from here. Meets inside. It's got an injector. I'll show you uh, uh, one that's taken apart. It's got small holes everywhere in there so that it can disperse the material properly. And then.
keep in mind that the material is being splayed vertically on a wall and when they finish now I'm going to go and do a, a plunge test so that you can see the thickness the material doesn't run for wall applications no shuttering required look at the build up this will be straight on top of it As you can see, with wet shots, there's a lot less, lot less dust, a lot less uh, rebound, very little material wastage. So you can see it's easy to trial, you can float it nicely, getting a nice smooth finish.